nearly finished doing that because I could do with a hand. Yeah, I'm fine, Fiona. <laughs> you look like you need some help. No, I've got it. Look, I know you're still mad at me, but it really was not what you think. David, we ain't got all day. Just leave it, Teresa. Yeah. Morning. Morning's for the fundraiser, is it? Yep. I am aiming to make lots of money for the research unit, and I'm planning on getting people very drunk, so they'll dig deep for the slave auction. Mm -hmm. Got Sam offering his gardening services and lots of little treats. Mm -hmm. Can I count on your support? Mm -hmm. Try keeping me away. Mm. Now, before you get any ideas, I've a list of chores I need you to do today. I'll do what I can this morning, but I've got a play date with Jay this afternoon. Jay? What, are you two best buddies now? Why not? Uh, you have nothing in common. Except he sells sweets and you love stuff in your face, Liam. We're both dads. At least he's trying to be when Megan will let him. Uh, is it any wonder she keeps him at arm's length after what he did to her? I, I don't think you should be hanging around with him either. Well, then that's the other thing we've got in common. We're both sick of being bossed around by the women in our lives. Hey. Sorry, Dad, I haven't got time to chat. Are you... Sure, it's wise taking on all this prior to your up tomorrow. I'm okay, honestly. Don't worry. Hey, at least you have your own guardian agent looking after you. Valerie. Right. And what if Valerie wants some company? You know, up there. Maybe she wants somebody to top up her GNTs. Oh, son, the doctor knows what they're doing. work? Of course I am. Are you even well enough? I mean, what did Dr Bailey say exactly? He said I need to pick up a repeat prescription for Miss Bray and apart from that I am fine. So you've got nothing to worry about. Right, I best not be late for work after losing so much time yesterday. Tell you what, why don't I pick up your prescription for you? It's on my way to college and it saves you the hassle. Oh, if you're sure it's no bother. Of course, I'll just go get changed. Hmm. Rona? Hey, Rona. I've got carrots. <laughs> oh. Interesting dream. Yeah. <laughs> I was dreaming about zombie rabbits. All the bunnies I've ever put to sleep. <laughs> Guilty conscience catching up with you. Yeah. How can we not work yet? Are you okay? No, oh, Leo's coming down with something. Surprised he didn't keep you awake with his coughing. Oh, I was dead to the world, but I'm guessing you didn't get much sleep. Oh, he wouldn't settle. And then he kept asking for Paddy. It's hard suddenly becoming a single parent. Well, he's still got Marlon. Yeah, and he's brilliant, you know, he does what he can. But, well, I guess this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. How's Leo now? Oh, he's fine. He's conked out. He's asleep. But I'm still going to have to keep him off school. Look, why don't I make you a coffee? Oh, excuse me. Oh. Hey, Ness. Yeah, I'm sorry. Leo's sick. Oh, no. Right, OK. Yeah, all right. I'll be there as soon as I can. All right, love. Bye. Forget the coffee. There's an emergency over at Demdike and Ness is about to do an operation. I'd better ring Marlon, see if he can take care of Leo. He's got April's assembly this morning. Okay, okay, look, just let me look after Leo. He's gonna be so grizzly when he wakes up. I'm pretty sure I can handle a snuffly four-year-old. Okay, thank you so much, Pierce. You're a lifesaver. And if you need backup, Pearl's just next door. You trying to put your mother into an early grave? Look, I'm sorry, all right? It just seemed like easy money. What, and you thought you'd try and make a quick buck and down with the consequences? Think about your future. Honestly, Finn. You're supposed to be the clever one. Haven't I enough to worry about with Pete in prison and this one, so dodgy, he's practically a dingle. Uh, lay off him, will you? It's not like you two have never done anything stupid, is it? It's better not happen again, mate. Just consider yourself lucky you got off with a caution this time. How about I buy you some breakfast, eh? I need to get to work. 
You've already got Doug gunning for me. Hey, don't let that plank give you an hard time. Well, it's easy for you to say since you've come all squeaky clean while I'm covering for you. Yeah, and I've said it won't happen again. Not exactly cut out for this, are you? One little taking off from the police and you're acting like you've got out of strange ways. Oh, you're unbelievable. Ronan's letting me stay on for a while longer. Take it, my uh, right hook didn't leave any lasting damage. <laughs> I can barely felt it. Listen, is my wife there? Um, she's at work. Well, I'll call back later. No, Paddy, wait, look. Um, listen, I, I know we're never going to be friends, but um, we both care about Ronan, right? Right. Well... So I've been worried about her, and uh, I was wondering... Can we talk? Ah, ah, uh, Doug, uh, uh, could you uh, hold the fort tomorrow? You do know we're fully booked. A man with your capabilities, I'm sure you can cope. Fine. I want the day off in low mind. <laughs> Excuse me. Until you cough up with your stake in this business, I call the shots, thank you. Oh, here he is, Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> Hilarious, Doug. Got off with a caution, all right, so can we drop it? No wonder this country's going to pot. You won't get off so lightly with me, I'll tell you. You're lucky I haven't let you go. Oh, that's a matter of opinion. In fact, I'm starting to wish the police had put me away. It's preferable to being stuck here with you. Oh, can you two shut up, please? I can't be done with this today. Yes, hello, the Grange. Douglas speaking, how can I help you? Oh, Mr Chambers, y yes, yes, yes. Just a sec. Uh, he's left his laptop in room four. He needs it for his meeting. Can we put it in a cab? Uh, actually, um... Actually, that might take ages. Why don't I just take it? I hope you're not on a skive. It's called customer service. See? Initiative. And anything to get out of here. Sorry, but if you've got something stuck in that orifice, you'll have to go to A&E. Excuse me. Uh, are you here for your mum's prescription? Uh, yeah, but I need to see Dr Bailey. Have you got an appointment? No. Oh, he's got back-to-back -back patients all morning. But we could sort you an appointment for tomorrow. No, listen, it's, it's an emergency. I'm really not well. That's fine. Um, I've got a few minutes for my next patient. Sorry about that. How are you? How do you think I am? What are you doing here, Belle? Well, you weren't answering any of my calls and I had to talk to you. To talk? And how about you tell me the truth this time? Hey, I got your text. So he's feeling better then? Thanks to the healing powers of my homemade vegetable soup. I, uh, I thought that might be the best thing for a sore throat. Mm -hmm. You've been a brave little soldier, haven't you? You too for taking on this saucy little germ monster. Well, actually, we've been doing a bit of male bonding over his toy car collection, haven't we, little fella? Oh, this all looks very cosy. What's he doing off school? Well, he's poorly, but don't worry. Pierce has very kindly been looking after him. I'm his dad. Need help? Call me. Well, I knew you were at April's assembly. Yeah, and I don't mind mucking in. Marlon, what exactly is the problem here? I just have Paddy on the phone. Not an happy bunny. Since he's been told not to call the house anymore. I didn't say that. No. But he did. I didn't exactly lie about my age. You assumed I was at uni and I just didn't set you straight. You're 17. Yeah, but that doesn't change anything. Not really. I know you like me for who I am. I don't know who you are anymore. You've told me so many lies, Belle. You made me think that we could have something here. Yeah, and we still can. Do you have any idea what would happen to me if people found out about us? 
I lose my job, my reputation, my marriage. You know I wouldn't say anything. And why do you even care about your marriage? You're not happy with your wife. <laughs> what with me? I'd get struck off. If you don't understand how serious that is, then it just proves how naive you are. Please, Jermaine, I only lied because of how much I like you. And I know you feel the same way. Look me in the eye and tell me you don't. Whatever this was, it's not what I thought. I'm sorry, Bill. We're done here. Bell. Somebody want to tell me what's going on? Yeah, come on, P.S. Because I'm dying to know what makes you think you've got the right to interfere in someone else's marriage. <laughs> they haven't got a marriage anymore. You know that Paddy and I agreed it's over. So it's okay for him to stick his oar in? I didn't mean to cause any trouble, but how's Rona going to move on if he's still calling all the time? I was just concerned. Bit of a domestic over there. I think Paddy's upset Rona again. Have you thought about Leo? Have you? What right do you have to cut him off from his stepdad? But he can call Leo yours. He's using your son to get to Rona. Wow. You barely know this bloke for five minutes and now he's your official spokesperson. Or is there something else going on here? Pierce and I are just friends, Marlon, which is more than you and I will be if you say one more word. I just don't need this hassle. Leave me alone to get on with my life. Rona, I, I am so sorry if I cross the line. Look, I need to get Leo back for his nap. We'll, we'll talk later, OK? <laughs> uh, Sam, I think this is more village fate than classy fundraiser. Huh? No, this will make us a fortune, this. Well, everyone loves giving a rat a good hammer. Can't argue with that. attack. Only messing. Yeah, well, just stop messing. Just get your stuff set up. And we've got people arriving soon. Yeah. Taylor notice of him is, um, he's not himself at the moment. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Hello, gorgeous girl. Oh, we thought we could lend a hand. Oh, oh you don't need to. I've got everything under control. I just hope it goes well. I've got one of the trustees from the charity come in, so uh, pressure's on. <laughs> Don't worry. If anyone can pull it off, you can. Thanks, Jay. That means a lot. Bang. Yeah. Oh, Doug. Um, restaurant's closed for tonight, but I was wondering if you uh, would stay a little while longer. I've got to go to the fundraiser. You won't be treating me like a lackey once I'm a fully-fledged partner, you know. It's for sick children. Dave has put a lot of effort into it. I need to support the occasion. Well, now you've kind of made me feel guilty, haven't you? Good. You took your time. Traffic. Yeah. Or are you trying to avoid a certain someone? All right, you got me. I know things have not been easy, this period of adjustment, but um, things will get better. How? Oh, I see he has a personality transplant. <laughs> yeah, he's not known for his people skills. He's a lot happier conversing with his vegetables. It's a wonder they haven't all withered with boredom. <laughs> it's not just that. I didn't mind cleaning bogs all day when it was just me, you and Val. Because we had a laugh. Yeah. I just feel like a skivvy. You mean more than that to me? I know. There's a whole world out there. I don't want to wake up one day to realise I've missed it all. But I think I need to have my notice in. Otherwise, me and Doug, <laughs> it's not going to end well. Yesterday I caught myself wondering whether the kettle cord would be long enough to, you know, 
<laughs> what will you do? Um, I've got some ideas. Yeah, I'm sure you have. You're a clever boy. You've had your wings clipped for long enough. If you're not happy, you've got to get out there and grab life with both hands. Come here. Who's texting you? No one. <laughs> That's the problem. Well, why don't you tear yourself away from your phone and come to Megan's fundraiser with me? Not really in the mood. It's better than sitting around here bored. And I could do with the company. I just don't really fancy it. Oh, come on, Belle. It's for a good cause. Then I'd like to spend some proper time with you. Okay. What's that for? Well, if I'm not allowed to have any, why should you? Talk to have a diabetic, why don't you? Uh, it's not a free for all. Yeah. Huh. Where's the rest of the village people? Yeah, thanks, oh. This all that's on offer at the auction. Car washing by Dan, nails by Kerry and him. Why? What's wrong with that? Megan's organised this in about five minutes flat. Let's see you do better. Well, I'm sorry, but I know marketing and sex sells. You want to get the punters going, I'm just saying. She's right. How about dinner with an eligible man? There you go. Uh, David. Can you stick some aftershave on and get oiled up? I want to auction you off. What? Why? Well, because you're the best looking man in here and I need to raise some serious cash. Oh, VIP has arrived. Come on, let's show what's on that back. Get yeah. off, I'm not doing it. Hey, what's wrong with you? I might get a bit of action out of this. Not a piece of me, you know. Just tell Megan I'm sorry. You can't do it. Oh, these are amazing. Liars that I've sorted out. fantastic. Down. When did you get them printed? Uh, oh, uh, yesterday. They're this amazing. is James. We were auctioning out. Hi. Lisa. You look better. Good to see you out. Look, I'm very grateful for what you did for me yesterday. But that doesn't mean we're going to be bosom buddies, you know. <laughs> uh, Sam. Sam. This is Angie, she's one of the trustees of the charity. This is Sam, who is a star, he's helped set all this up. Yeah. It's great to see Megan's got so much support. Yeah. Uh, do you fancy a whack on me, right? <laughs> Sam, I don't think she'll be into that kind of thing. No, I don't know. Looks like a great stress reliever. Oh, cracky, I wouldn't like to get on the wrong side of you. The trick <laughs> is to picture someone who really annoys you at work. Oh, your job must be really tough. <laughs> yeah, I have to fit charity around hospital work, but it's worth it. Oh, you're a doctor? Oh, a consultant. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's hard, but I love it. Champagne. Um, oh, go on then. I'll tell the hubby he's the designated driver tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and here he is. Sweetheart, you're late. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, have you been in here all day? Uh, no, I um, I went for a walk. Then I thought I'd work on my apology before I came back. You don't need to apologise. No, I was out of order, but I could see how much Paddy was winding you up. Yeah, he was. And you were right. I can't move on with him in my face every day. But still, it wasn't my place to say anything. No, really. It's good to know that someone's got my back. So, um, we're, we're good then? Yeah, we're good. Um, listen, I've just dropped Leo off with Marlon. Oh. Is he still mad? Look, m maybe I should smooth, smooth the waters. Or maybe we could just forget about him and Paddy and all of that and go and have some fun at Megan's fundraiser. Yeah, I could do with it. Okay. You're on. And what if the surgeon gets mixed up? He moves around one. You know it can happen. Human error and all David, what I can tell you with all certainty is that not having the operation is far riskier. Sorry. Than having it. Right? 
her, the first auction lot is a man that can. It is James the DIY Rainbow. <laughs> Oh, whoa, fabulous. Whoa, you can watch him flex his bricks anytime you want. £30. Uh, I am sat right here, you know. 40 Oh, you are so embarrassing. Anyone else? Anyone else want to bid on James the DIY dream boat? Do you know you haven't taken your eyes off her all day? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice it before. She's amazing. Anyone else? Nicola? Instead of telling me that, why don't you tell Megan? You know what, mate. You might be right. Well, seems I'm not the only liar around here. What are you talking about? You and your wife, looking all loved up. How the cow you made her out to be. Well, we haven't been getting on. But that's my fault. I shouldn't have dragged you into this. You deserve better and I am sorry. What, so you're just going to dump me and head back to your cosy little life? Just because I'm a bit younger? Well, we can't do this. It's not long time, 18. We can wait. It's not just you, a kid. You're a patient and a vulnerable one with a history of mental health problems. Come on. You check my records. My job is on the line as it is. I could lose everything. I don't think your wife's going to want you when she finds out what you've done. You're really going to do this here? In front of your mum and everyone else you know? You really are. What, mad? Yeah, well, maybe I'll show you just how crazy I can. <laughs> Emmerdale continues in half an hour.